Hello. Hi, Eric. How are you? Do you mind not making fun of my voice, please? All right. You got it. You got it. I mean, I can sit here and hear and make fun of your nose. <laughs> you just did. There All right, go. that's it. Eric, going back up. Why, you? <laughs> you little monster. <laughs> what can I do for you, Eric? Well, I emailed Will to with a TV show. I don't know if he's shown it to you yet. What did he just say? Remember last week he said he was going to send you a list of TV shows that he wanted you to see if you could get him on. He's sent him some kind of email. Oh, yeah, I got it. It's funny as hell. I should play that for you right now. Let me get to that. No, the email, not voicemail. I got a voicemail with you listing endless amounts of TV shows that you think you'd be right for. <laughs> hey, do you drink? No. I can't believe that. Why did you ask that? If I was him, I'd drink. Oh, maybe he can't because of... Well, how he is. Can you drink because of how you is? <laughs> Could you drink it's, if you wanted to? It's very improper English, but no, I cannot drink because of my height. Because of your height. Is there a oh. line on the bar? <laughs> you don't reach this height, you can't have a drink? Why, well, would that, why would that screw you up if you drank? You get drunk fast. So have a little schnapps. Have a little. Have a shot. So then... you're a cheap drunk. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to play you. This is a higher risk of alcohol poisoning. I see. I see. Then I would do drugs, I guess. You smoke weed? <laughs> nope. Hmm. Never tried it. Nope. Wow. Well, why not just take a thimble full of alcohol? <laughs> Drink out of a thimble. I've tried that. <laughs> Doesn't work. It huh? always gets bigger. The thimble. Right. All right. You're making a good point. All right, here's Eric the Midget calling me with a list of acting possibilities. All right. And Eric, Elf, uh, Eric it's Elf. easier for me to give you the list of shows this way rather than through email. So it may take me a couple messages, but here I go. Um, it's the funniest goddamn list you ever heard. You can hang in with it. All right. Sunday night, ABC, or CBS is cold case. I can play a witness to an old case that they need to solve. ABC's Grey's Anatomy. It's a doctor sh medical show. So there I would either play you know, a young uh, intern doctor or, <laughs> or trying to prove myself because, you know, my disability. Or I could play a patient, which is not a strange role for me. Um... Monday night, NBC's Las Vegas. I could play either a new uh, member of the staff or a hotel guest here just by myself or... <laughs> wow. This is what he wants. I guess he wants me to call yes. NBC and... Since I'm well, in charge of everything in show business. You're the king of all media. All right. Just decree. It, it was, Eric, well, let me understand I, something. So I should call up Jeffrey Zucker at NBC and tell him that Eric the Midget's available to play a doctor? It was Will's idea for me to list off the parts that I oh. Yeah, well, but you were the one who said, I'll give you a list of TV shows that I... Uh... Well, all I was going to do was just give you the list of shows. Well. <laughs> Why don't I just call the heads of each network and say, work him into some show as opposed to listing all the shows? Right. And they could use you on any show. Well, there's some shows I don't want to be on. Oh, maybe that <laughs> list is shorter. Maybe that would be easier if you just told me what shows you don't want to be on. I'll tell you right now, one is Will and Grace. You don't want to be on that one? <laughs> you don't see no. yourself in that? You know, I ran into Jeffrey no. Zucker and he was thinking of you on Will and Grace, but all right, I'll scratch it off. You couldn't play a gay guy in a wheelchair? Would you play a gay? gay midget. No way. You would not play a gay midget? Nope. Hi, Will. I'm a gay midget. <laughs> Hi, Will. Hi. I'm I a like gay that. midget. I like that as like a three-episode arc. He, I love that. He has an affair with a gay midget. Yes. <laughs> oh, give it to me, Will. <laughs> oh, I hope Grace isn't watching. I'm in yeah. the closet. Oh.
<laughs> Literally, I'm hanging in a closet. <laughs> I can see him as a little, you know, guy in a wheelchair who has a crush on Will. And that Sean Hayes guy has his way with you? Like he... Did they pass you around from right. gay guy to gay guy, right. like, a, like, a, like a toilet they use you. <laughs> like they play spin the midget. Yeah, <laughs> you're a party favorite. <laughs> spin the midget. <laughs> and they degrade you. Just so you can be near Will, you take it. <laughs> you're right. You're wrong for that show. Let me let you're me hear what you let show. me hear what you sound like when you're when you're doing a guy. Act like you're doing a guy. No. Come on. Let's see. I can't recommend it's you for just one. No. <laughs> How about they hang him up in the um, off the ceiling like a pinata? Yeah. And, yeah. they, and they and everybody pokes him. And pokes him. <laughs> so the to toys come out of his mouth. A gay pinata. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be that'd be something you could do. Oh, Will Will just stuffs Eric inside of him, <laughs> just his legs hang out, <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like Will has four legs. Yeah, it looks like a donkey. <laughs> hey, get me out of here! <laughs> I like you in there. <laughs> I like it when you're inside. <laughs> Hey, hey, I want to get out of here, Will. You can play a, you can play a gerbil. <laughs> I'm not a gerbil. I have a talking gerbil inside of me. <laughs> I'll bite your kidney. <laughs> what? I'll bite your kidney if you don't let me out of here. <laughs> Say I'll bite your kidney. Eric. No. Uh, <laughs> come on. You got, uh, suppose this is the only part available. You know what's funny? If I got a job for him on Will and Grace, he'd take it. You think? Yeah. I think in the breakdowns, it came out a gerbil for Will and Grace. <laughs> Ed the gerbil. So what other shows don't you want to be on? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Eric? I'm here. What other shows? All right, just Will and Grace. You could be on medium, but you could be small instead of a medium. I actually, I actually had that one listed. Oh, that's one you want to be on. Yes. Yeah. Any other shows you don't want to be on beside Will and Grace? Oh, two of them that are two new ones that are going to be on NBC. I think looks stupid. Surface and my name is Earl. Okay. I'll write that down. My name is Earl and Surface. Don't even consider him. And Will and Grace. Those, yeah. I don't know why you're so homophobic. I don't know why you wouldn't, you know, get stuffed. Would you be willing to play a lamp on Will and Grace? <laughs> a talking no. lamp? No. I know. I know they got one of the guys who writes and they got an episode with a talking lamp. Like a night lamp. Yeah, that way you wouldn't have to be gay. Suppose you could date Grace. Yeah. Oh, there you go. How about that? Would you go out with Grace? I don't know. <laughs> Are you limiting yourself to just network shows? Or would you do cable? There's FX and UPN shows on those two networks that I do. Well, UPN's not uh, cable. Oh, I'm FX. talking about the cable. What about Smallville? You'd be perfect for that. Yeah. No, I don't like that show. Why so, not? It's not, to me, not a good show. I... It's not a quality show. So you won't do Smallville, Will and Grace. I think you'd be an excellent villain on Smallville. But... I do, too, yeah. What happened to you? Kryptonite shrunk me. See, you could be in the high school, Eric. I'm from the village of Candor. <laughs> With superpowers. Would you, well, do, would you do Queer as Folk? Nope. Hmm. Wow. Well, you got too many rules for yourself. Yeah, these are the places that are looking for people. Would you play Grace's tampon? <laughs> a talking tampon? No. <laughs> what don't you like about gays? I never knew you to discriminate. Are you anti-gay? Yeah. Oh, no. look at you. He's a homophobe. I knew Sitting it. Sitting there in your wheelchair. Hate I'll tell you what, up. pal. Try and have a Hollywood career being anti-gay. <laughs> They'll drum you right out of the business. Nah, yeah, you gotta, you gotta stop that, Eric. Let me hear what, what other shows. What have the gays ever done to you? Did anybody ever try to rape you? No, but we. I had an aunt that was married, and then the guy went gay. 
Uh, <laughs> yeah, bad experience. Uh, but, that doesn't mean all gays are bad just because you're some dude went gay on your aunt. <laughs> <laughs> he could have gone blind. He went gay. Yeah, I feel you have a big gay following. I can't believe you went to Will and Grace. I could have gotten him a shot on that, too. Yeah. I do know people on that. But he would have to play a gay. A gay midget. Because Grace isn't going for him. No. That wouldn't be believable. <laughs> oh, Will. You're giving it to me so good. Oh. 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 <laughs> would you play a soap dish holder on medium? No. All right. Want to be on Joey? Yeah, there was one I wanted that I had listed. Oh, you had listed Joey. I know some people over there. Maybe I could get you in on that. On Joey. They're, they're hurting in the ratings. They might need a star like you. <laughs> Maybe he could I become a regular. I, I thought I could be a, a new tenant in the apartment that was hoping to get into acting. Yeah. I, you, I could probably get you that part. Joey but, needs a sidekick. Right. You could be Joey's sidekick. <laughs> You know, on my honeymoon or going to get married or whatever, uh, see, you know, on NBC's show Medium, which I could play a person that the medium needs to help. I'll uh, say. So, <laughs> if I don't see me at Miami, I could play it. Where's the rest of you? My God, what happened? How about daytime TV? What about, would you be on The View as a regular? No. You no. could you do your TV picks and gossip for them. You won't do that? Yeah, yeah. I, I saw Star yeah. Jones the other day. I was going to recommend her that uh, that she talk with you. But all right. Don't she have to be female? A what? Yeah. You'd have to wear a wig and a dress. <laughs> but no. you'd have to pretend you're a woman. It's acting. They want you to stand on the red carpet and ask questions. Would you be a groom on the top of the wedding cake at a gay wedding? <laughs> On Will no. and Grace? No. Yeah, get the talking groom on the cake. All right, i tell you what I'm going to do. And I don't even know why I'm going to do this. Cause... Because he never appreciates it anyway. I know. <laughs> I got him an acting job, and he didn't appreciate that. But I'll talk to some people. I know the head of show business, and I'm going to ask him. All right? You know the absolute top guy? Yeah. Wow. I know two of the top guys. Yeah. They're both gay, what? too. Well, he doesn't want to be on any gay shows. I understand. All right, I'll get to work on it, okay? Yeah, the show Las Vegas. Yes. Since, since season number one, they have a regular cast member who's in a wheelchair. So they don't need you. No, forget them. They already got a wheelchair guy. <laughs> also, the guy on that's the medical examiner on the original CSI, he's a double amputee. Yeah. He yeah, yeah there's, there's room for you in Hollywood. I just got to find the right fit. He runs an uh, acting school in real life. The thing that threw me is you don't want to be on Will and Grace. I, I was I had yeah. an inside lead there. Now i got to cross it off. Are you taking <laughs> acting lessons? No. No, I'm, I'm a natural. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Listen to my delivery. What, what do you think I need? How do you expect to get all these parts? I don't even think he could memorize lines. No. Hey, I, it, the mind is perfect. On American Dreams. You had two lines. Yeah, they gave you two lines. I'm talking about if you had to do like a Shakespearean I, thing. I had three. They cut a one. Uh, well, what if you were one of those lawyers on one of those um, Law and Order shows? You couldn't do that kind of dialogue. No, because I know medical dialogue better than. Oh, okay. Then legal but, dialogue. Uh, Le legal jargon is tough. All right. I, I got to go. I know what you want. You don't want Smallville. You don't want Will and Grace. And Smallville, he would be perfect for. Well, they contacted me from Smallville. They wanted him to play Prune Man. <laughs> you know? Would you play Prune Man? No. No. I don't, I'd also be a correspondent for either Extra or Access Hollywood. Oh, really? What would he be? A correspondent for Extra or Access Hollywood. All right. Would you be a beekeeper? No. No. All right. What's that? I don't know. Why won't well, you, you throw take stuff out? Lessons. You won't. You won't play a beekeeper. A man who keeps bees. What about a beehive? On what? Anything. 
On uh, Will and Grace. Will and Grace. A gay would beekeeper. You, would you play a, a straight beekeeper on Will and Grace? Oh, no. All right. Oh, that's not a no. Would you play a bee? An actual bee? I think you can remember that dialogue. Go like this. <laughs> All, right. All right. I'll look into it, Eric. I won't forget about you. Okay, thank you. Right, You're going to get him another part? No. <laughs> Why How am I going to get him a part? I'm busy getting Artie a part. Oh, God. <laughs> I should have thought of him for my film. I know. Why don't you put him in? I would have gotten to see that. Gay midget on the team, on the softball team? Oh, that would have been midget. great. He won't play a gay midget. You know, we shouldn't tell him he's gay. Because, yeah. Don't tell him his character's gay till right. afterwards. Exactly. <laughs> we just add it around. Like, make him like gay. in a locker room. You, hey, you believe that midget's gay? <laughs> yeah, he doesn't know what everybody's saying. The entire about. time. Yeah, he just thinks he's playing a straight guy. And every other... I was like, whoa, that guy's Why don't you shoot a sequel oh, to your movie? Great. And on. never tell him he's a gay character. One more day of shooting, Artie. And then have him show up at the Queer premiere. Queer League. And have him show up at the premiere and he realizes his character's yeah. gay. <laughs> hey, what's, what's up with the hey, editing? He told me I was straight. He never proposed himself for your movie. Hey, I saw, like every other part of the guy's going, hey, I saw Eric making out with a guy. <laughs> yeah, Eric, go ahead. Eric the Midget, everyone. Oh, what? wait a minute. What's he doing on the phone? He was never calling us again. I thought you were never calling the show again. Eric? Well, I guess maybe he's not there. Oh, maybe he remembered. I got you. He's a weird cat, that yeah. Eric the Midget. As he was on hold, he remembered he's never calling again. <laughs> Eric the Midget was calling me for... A month straight on the voicemail saying, I am never going to do the show again. Yeah. <laughs> Tell Stern, unless he accepts my challenge, <laughs> I will never do the show again. My challenge is that Howard says nothing negative about anyone for a month. Oh, that was his challenge? And I go, well, why would I take that? <laughs> and who wants you on the show anyway? Who's looking for you? Yeah, wh who said you were a big addition? <laughs> okay, we'll do a boring show for a month, so you'll call again. Yeah, I like that he was threatening me. I'm not going to do the show anymore. You'll be without me for 30 days. I like he's threatening to pull a crackhead Bob on us. Here, wait, here. Listen to this. Hey, Will, it's me. I was leaving you this message because... Tomorrow is my birthday, my 30th birthday. And, you know, it's really annoying me that Stern's not taking me serious on this whole thing of, you know, wanting to be, you know, an entertainment reporter, sports reporter. See, I would like to have a good paying job. That a good paying job. Wait, wait. Wait a second. Eric the Midget. This is great. He, You're not taking him seriously. He wants to be an entertainment reporter and a sports reporter. Yeah. He wants to be paid well. But you're he, not taking him seriously. But here's the one where he challenged me or else he was never coming on the show again. Okay. Hey, Richard, I'll leave this message for Howard. I noticed that he has not even come close to mentioning my challenge to him yet on the air. Was he too chicken to take it? Is him and his staff... Uh, know that they will absolutely lose the challenge if they end up taking it. Come on, chicken. Come on, chicken. Take the challenge, Howard. <laughs> so funny. Yeah, that kid's dangerous. You will never, for a month, say nothing negative about anyone. Why do I want to do that? What do you win if you actually... Uh... I, I get um, Eric the Midget to call in. Wow. By the way, who's more negative than Eric the Midget? No one. You will be what? positive or I will destroy you. Take the challenge. Be a man. Be a man that has a brain in his head instead of between his legs. Like I know you do. I know that's where the only brain that you have in your whole body is between your legs. Eric the Midget's my hero. He stands up for all the little people. <laughs> he stands up even though he can't. I wonder, what, I wonder what he's thinking when he makes these phone calls. Like, some chicks will dig him because he... You think chicks have anything to do with this? I don't know. It's got to be. There's always something. You think something. there's a chick there while he makes these calls? Or, or, or the hope of a chick showing up. <laughs> Excuse me while I call the stern hotline, Daphne. 
<laughs> Daphne Zuniga. <laughs> you know, I'm not a very big one at that either. Take the challenge. I challenge you to go a whole month without saying a single bad thing about anyone. So, you know, get a clue. Bye for now. For now. Okay, you win, Eric. He couldn't do it. You win. <laughs> You were right. I can't do it. Bye for now, Cape Crusader. We never have to talk to you again. <laughs> I'll get you. Who's Eric the Midget? Hey, I thought you weren't calling in anymore. Well, I wasn't. <laughs> okay. Hang on. Uh, okay. <laughs> you can't even understand. What? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> take, take two. He's like, well, uh, 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 what? Well. Is that Eric the Midget or the Penguin? <laughs> Hello, dynamic dimwits. <laughs> I'll get you. <laughs> my umbrella. I'll jump from this building with my magic umbrella. <laughs> What's up, Eric? Well, why would I take I, that challenge? I mean, what what do I care? What's in it for me? Yeah, I mean, just to talk to you, I don't think so. You know, we seem to manage to do the show without you. <laughs> What's your well, thinking on that? What, what do you think? What do you think? Some chick's going to show up at your apartment and go, Oh, Eric, you told Howard to be positive. Now the show's positive, and I you love you. You brought Howard to his knees. No, it's just, it's, you know, I went down to the, the set of American Dreams. Want you know, to do the show, and all of them had nice things to say about you and your staff. But for some reason, who cares? I, yeah, so, so who cares? What do I, I don't so know I have why. to be. I have to be nice because these staff of American That's Dreams. That's how are nice. they want to spend their time. Of course, they're nice. They get first of all, they have craft services there. They're yeah. getting fed. They get. They've got the cushiest job in the world. They get to act and get paid tons of dough. Yeah, but even though the show sucked. Everybody said you were a nice guy so far. So what? Why, why do I have to be nice? Just because they're nice? Of course they're nice. They but we still don't understand why he has to now be nice. Why do I have to be nice? Because I'd like to see if it is actually in you. Like No, it, it's not. It's not. Of course it's not. Obviously it's not. I'm a bitter, angry man. <laughs> so now what? So if they say I'm nice, what's your problem with that? Your logic's, well, I, your logic's have you been sitting around in that house too long. Get out and smell the roses. <laughs> Take a deep breath of air. I want you to be positive. If you're not positive, I won't do the show. But you're calling an awful lot for somebody who said they were never calling again. Well, because this challenge came to my mind. Oh, <laughs> I've been brainstorming. <laughs> yeah, let's get let's get to know Eric a little bit. When did the challenge come into your mind, and when did you realize it was a really bad idea? <laughs> I think he's just realizing that. <laughs> I thought of it Labor Day week. No, not Labor Day. Uh, Memorial Day weekend. Did you miss us? Why don't you tell the truth? You yeah. missed us. You love calling in and you love the attention. So why why are you making demands that no one cares about? You made a fool out of yourself. You're threatening every day you're not going to call into the show, and now you're here calling into the yeah, show. You, you banned yourself from the show, and you missed it. So why do you keep doing that to yourself? Why you keep banning yourself from the show? You keep calling in anyway. You love the attention. I don't, I don't love being called Eric the Midget. I would prefer it if you would just refer to me as Eric. Well, Eric, you know what's going to happen when you call. Want me to get to know you? What's your favorite movie? Well, um, be cool is good. Be cool? The uh, John Travolta uh, movie? Uh, we're hanging up, Eric. <laughs> Uh-oh, I feel like I'm going to be negative in a minute. How can we possibly have a conversation with anyone who says that? <laughs> what's your favorite food? Pizza. All right. Well, now, now you're, you're talking. talking. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Do you drink? No. No. I wonder why not. 
Yeah, I drink all the time. <laughs> <laughs> like, why not? Like, Artie, I understand trying to get back to himself together. I drink because I'm overweight and a little ugly. Yeah. Eric, why don't you sing uh, Can't Hurry Love? Here we go. Shut the f*** up. Shut the f*** up. Every big nose jackass told me half to shut the f*** up. <laughs> you're you're uh, pretty negative yourself there, pal. Well, listen how negative you're being. Well, because I'm being negative towards somebody that's negative towards other people. Well, we you've changed first. We're not going to change. Eric, you like this. This is you doing gay bondage films, all right? Here we go. Rules are I'm in charge. You're mine now. Understand that? Yeah. Do you understand that? Yeah. I can't hear you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to have some fun with you. Hell yeah. Yeah. Right. Whose boy are you now, huh? I'm not answering that question. That's right. You're my boy, aren't you? Yeah. Like that? Yes. Huh? Knock it off. Yeah, it's a choke on it. Yeah. What do you think of that? <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> negative, Are I you know. being negative towards that Come clip? Come on, it's funny. All right, Eric, I got to go. I'm glad you called into the show, but I'm not taking your challenge. I'm a coward. And, you know, call again when you are when you miss us. You're absolutely right. I'm very negative. But you I, don't have to ban yourself. Right. Not going to work. We're your kryptonite. Come in here. We'll, right. worship, we'll worship your feet. <laughs> I'll get Richard Christie oh, to Richard, stick him in your mouth. Richard Christie will do toe worship. Yeah, he'll stick your feet in his mouth. <laughs> I like that. No, thank you. Ew. <laughs> no, thank you. Sal will throw up on them, and Richard will clean right. them. Pass. Later, Eric. Yeah. Have a good weekend. Yeah. All right. I'll try to stay positive. Is he? Wait a minute. Did he move into his own place? No. No, he, unfortunately not. Oh, it didn't happen, huh? No. Yeah, they, they ran out of room at the Playboy Mansion. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. Uh, I think the, the, the deal at Trump Tower fell through. <laughs> he, the co-op board refused him. Yeah, the co-op board was prejudiced. <laughs> They don't like little people. All right. Yeah. It's sickening. He has all that money and... Nobody will take him. Yeah. All right. There's a guy on the phone who says he wants to hang out with you. You interested? Uh, I don't know. Willie? Yeah, this is Willie the nigger. Oh, oh, oh boy. Okay. <laughs> I want to hang, hang that little midget. All right. Come on. Stop that. What the hell happened there? I don't know. That it's, didn't go very well, Artie. It says Willie wants to hang out with Eric. Go, okay, okay this, wants to hang Eric. Go ahead, maybe Eric. Maybe it, you know what it does say. This says wants to hang Eric. I thought it said hang out. <laughs> wants to hang Eric. I'm sorry, Eric. The guy wants to hang you. I, I apologize. A little I'm, misdirection. It really did. Then he gets a. This is Willie the nigger. I want to hang Eric. <laughs> Eric, try and have a nice weekend and stop being so angry. Okay. You're I the, bet you couldn't go for a month without being angry. Yeah. I'll try and be more positive if you try to be less angry. All right? Yeah. All right. Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> what is there anything you're happy about? Uh. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Right. Try to be happy, you know what? There's many good things in life. Go see uh, War of the Worlds. I saw it. It's good. Kelly Clarkson's coming to Atlantic City. That should make you happy. She's on tour. Well, actually, I've got tickets to see her in Reno. See there? Wow, you're really going to gay it up, aren't you? <laughs> well, no wonder you're so I'm, thrilled. I also have tickets to go see Rascal Flatts. Rascal Flatts? Okay. Week. Oh, that's your favorite band, right? Yes. See, who knows you better than us? As far as you, I get a ticket to a whorehouse and get laid. <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah, what is he wasting his money? <laughs> <laughs> Kelly Clarkson. She looks good, though, man. She's been working out. I saw that big billboard. I don't think she looks like those pictures you're no. seeing. we got to get her in here. I'll bring Eric in if uh, we get her in here. All right. What? So he can pleasure himself in front of her. 
Eric, I'll let you meet Kelly Clarkson if, if she comes in here, but you have to pleasure yourself in front of her. At that concert, I may actually get to meet her because I'm part of the fan club, and with that, you get uh, a meet and greet pass. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> what are you going to say to her? Hey, honey. Talk to her for a few minutes. Hey, honey, you see that bump in my pants? <laughs> However long they, you know, let people talk to them with the meet and greet pass. You ought to ask her out, and then when she says no, you ought to just like go right to the press and say, she's prejudiced against right, yeah. little people. Ask her out. That's oh. what you do. She hates midgets. <laughs> then tell, her, tell her she better make love to you, or else you're going to go to the press and say that she hates midgets. You're her man. Although I'm, I'm sure I'll probably uh, get a little uh, starstruck like I had in the past when I meet. When you met Robin? Uh, meet female celebrities that I like. Yeah. So you ha won't say anything is what you're saying. Right. He'll get up there and they, he'll, oh. meet, he'll finally meet Kelly Clarkson and he'll just get mute. He'll just this make one Kelly of those noises. Eh. She'll come over. Hello, little man. <laughs> Be like, How old are you? Pat you on the head. I'm 47 years old. <laughs> Stop patting me. <laughs> well, yeah, add 17 years to my age. Thank you. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not nine. <laughs> right? You get that all the time. Uh, you tell her off when she says that, pal. I'm pinching my cheek, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> you want to pinch something, pinch my ass. <laughs> I'm not in Little League. <laughs> <laughs> uh. yeah, when I went down to the set of American Dreams, I met Brittany and Vanessa. I barely said anything to them. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I heard you were pretty mute around Daphne Zuniga. But look uh, at how he yells and, at you. And what's weird about it is I think you could have gotten her. Oh, easy. I, I, talk, I talk to her. I talk to her more than I did Brittany and Vanessa. Yeah, you should put on some of that Eric the Midget charm. Why does he scream at you, though? You're the only guy he can talk to. I know. I'm like, his, I'm like so the see, father he never had. <laughs> when, when I meet male celebrities, I don't have any problem talking to them. Maybe you're gay. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, you seem pretty loose around me. I'm going to go with you're definitely gay. <laughs> oh, I... What are you saying, Eric the Gay Midget? Yeah. <laughs> I don't have any problem talking to male celebrities because I don't have the attraction to them right. like I do females. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. <laughs> oh, vice doesn't frighten me. <laughs> yeah. Now, Kelly Clarkson, I get that whole thing with you. I, 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 she'd be a cute girlfriend for you. And you know what? Before American Idol, you probably could have gotten her. Yeah. She wasn't that hot. Now she's all full of herself. Because of guys like uh, you who voted for her, and now, now she doesn't even give you any poontang. Probably holding out I also, like, I also like Carrie Underwood, too. Yeah, she's going to snub you, too. Yeah, you better get her quick. <laughs> she already has the number one record in the country. Yeah, Jenks. Hey, good morning, Howard. You know, I happened to run into Kelly Clarkson at the supermarket the other day, and I got a chance to ask her a couple questions, and I asked her one of the things that really annoys her. And she said she can't stand that Eric the Actor on the Howard Stern Show. <laughs> she did say that? Yeah, she said he, she just can't stand him. She doesn't like when he comes on? Yeah. Boring. She was and glad that he was uh, banning himself from the show. Yeah, she, I, I was she trying said to get she was glad get... she's not doing the show anymore. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to convince her that he's a real good guy, and she's like, I just can't stand that guy. He's such an annoying, you know, annoying little man. <laughs> you believe she said that, Eric? No. <laughs> <laughs> good. Yeah, Dominic. Yeah, he's never there. All right. Hey, Eric, I got to go. All right. You know? I really got to get going. What is it, Ralph? Oh, enough of him, man. It, you can't understand him when you can. It's nothing interesting. Talk about how you go places and you're miserable. That's good. Who, Eric or me? No, you. That's fun. You like hearing about the uh, the uh, Tom Cruise thing last night? Yeah, that was great. Yeah. They, they made Beth check her bag, and why'd you even put up with that? I, I said, that's it. I'm going home. And then they went, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you should have said no. Forget it. No way. No, but I wanted to see the movie. Was it good? Howard. Uh, Howard. Yes, Eric. Where is Richard at? <laughs> Where is Richard? Why do you care? Forby Tenzo. You guys, you guys seem to be the only ones that can't understand me on the phone. I talk to Rich. Heard all the time, he didn't have any problem understanding me. Not only is his voice annoying, it's cutting in and out. It's like. Hey, 
Sorry, man. I don't know. I like what Eric calls it. I enjoy it. I maybe a maybe a minute or two. But... I don't know. I can listen to it all day. That's I could, have, you know, like I'm I I'm fascinated with him. Oh, I'm just sitting here waiting for you to hang up. On I him. love that he's in love with Kelly Clarkson. I mean, I love the whole thing. Yeah. Great. Man, clump. You know, the moving around. One minute he's moving to a new place, all his own. Then he's not. Hey, Richard. What's up, Eric? Hi, Richard. I gotta go take a break, you guys. I love hearing about his concert tickets. Yeah, I mean, he's going hes going to Reno to see Kelly Clarkson. I mean, how do you not love that? I don't get it. I get more mail that please never put Eric Dimension on. But I don't know. I, I'm like, I, no way. I love when he calls, too. Me, he's too. Great. Oh, I, I don't. He sounds miserable, too. I don't of course know. he's miserable. Well, that's miserable. the thing. <laughs> it's so great. I mean, it's, it's the life is unbelievable. He's, wait, he's sitting in a room somewhere waiting for Kelly Clarkson in Reno. I mean, Why was he at American Dreams? What was that all about? He did. He had, we got him an acting job in American Dreams, and then he was being temperamental. Oh, he was making demands, yeah. remember? He became a whole diva, and then, then he wanted to be called Eric the Actor. We're Eric the Actor. It's, 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 he's the greatest he, ever. He wants to make sure, too, that you know that he's not a member of the Whack Pack. He hates that. Right. He waits a month to get on, and then he finally gets on, and I pick up the phone, and then you hear... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I love him. I love this guy. We, we were we were cracking up that when Ralph called. Ralph calls and goes, "Oh, who can take you anymore?" Because those are the calls that Ralph gets. And I we, know. We were wondering who would win the um, the Ralph Eric the Midget poll. Who would you want to hear less? All right, put it up on HowardString.com. If you can only. How have... about Ralph doing Eric the Midget? Yeah, I don't want to hear. You could get rid of one person on the show, Ralph or Eric the Midget. Which one would you go? And the polls will be open in ten minutes. Yeah, I want to hear Ralph and Eric have phone sex now. <laughs> Try no. Ralph. Hey, Eric, have phone sex with Ralph. No. You could be no, the man. I'm not doing that. You could be the man. I don't want to play. Ralph, <laughs> Ralph you be the girl and let Eric be the man. Go ahead, Eric. Nope. What are you wearing? Hey, baby. <laughs> no, you're a girl, Ralph. Eric. No. Bobby <laughs> Denzel. All right, I got to go. Hey, Eric. Uh, don't worry yeah. about it, man. Just stop banning yourself from the show. It's ridiculous. Okay. All right. No, I say ban yourself and stick with it, dude. He, he can't do it, Ralph. He, he can't do it, and we like it. So, I like Eric. All right. Goodbye, guys. Bye. <laughs> 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 but the poll's up on uh, Vagina Corner, now we're starting com. All right. All right. All right. Go to Vagina Corner. Who do you hate more, Eric the Midget or oh, Ralph? Ralph. The voting begins now. Bye, Eric. Polls are open. Yeah. Later. I think Eric has to develop relationships with people who know he exists. <laughs> <laughs> That's his problem. We'll be back right he after these like words. Any of those people. Yeah. Mike, you might be interested in this. You'll probably want to print this on the front page of the Inquirer. Mm -hmm. uh, in our poll as to who is more annoying on the show and who should be banned. Between right. Eric the Midget and Ralph. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. We have an overwhelming winner. Really? Oh, really? Who do you think it is, Robin? Eric. Ralph, 71%. Oh, wow. 71% over 28%. Wow. I'm wow. shocked. 71% want That's Ralph off. 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 Out. Out to be sort of surprising. Out to be sort of surprising. Uh, some people love Eric the Midget. Please give Eric the Midget his own show at Satellite. I know you say people hate him, but I love him. You should also buy him a better phone because his suck. It's not his phone. It's him. It's him. <laughs> but he is great on the air. One of my great disappointments in life was not getting to see e-footage of Eric the Midget. I think I'd listen to Eric the Midget on, on Satellite. I'm going to give him a show on Satellite. Like, you know what? you got to understand something. In Satellite, you give him a show once a week yeah. for a half hour. He likes to talk sports. Yes. He likes entertainment. Come out. We're here on the team. Eric. Yeah. Let's We're here him to Gush in Gush Katif, Israel. <laughs> Climb out here yeah. in the air. <laughs> I want to talk I'm about the... the heart of Gaza. Talk about the Oakland A's <laughs> middle relief pitching for a half hour. Well, here's a guy who says, never allow Eric to mention on the show again. Yesterday he called and I thought he was a scream. He had a list of TV shows that he would do. And uh, he wants me to get him jobs on television shows, and he even has parts figured out what he should be playing on these shows. Do you have that uh, phony phone call? No. Oh, yeah, so <laughs> Gary calls Eric and goes, Hey, Eric, I just spoke to a guy from DreamWorks. He works right under Steven Spielberg, and they want you for some movie. 
So then Sal calls Eric and jerks him around for a while. You know, play you some of that. There you go. Hello. Hi, is this Eric? Yes, it is. Hi, Eric. It's Diane calling from Scott Silverman's office at DreamWorks Studio. We gave him a Jewish name because he's the top Jew, Scott Silverman. Okay. Okay, one second, Eric. I'm going to transfer you. <clears throat> Eric. Yes. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. I'm good. I happen to be a big fan of the show, and uh, I hear you a lot, and we're working on some projects, so I'm pretty excited to speak to you. Okay. Right now, we're casting for The Wizard of Oz. I understand that you um, you are a midget. That's what they call you on the show, correct, Eric the Midget? No, oh, I'm three foot five, so I would categor be categorized as a little person. Okay, great. Can you sing? Uh, a little. Good. Have you ever seen The Wizard of Oz? Yes. Great. We want you to be one of the lollipop kids. Okay. So let's give that a shot. We represent the Lollipop Guild, the Lollipop Guild, the Lollipop Guild. Go ahead, give that a try. We represent the Lollipop Guild, the Lollipop Guild, the Lollipop Guild. Excellent, excellent. And in the name of the Lollipop Guild, we wish to welcome you to Munchkin Land. Uh, and in the name of the Lollipop Guild, we wish to welcome you to Lollipop Land. To Munchkin Land. Or Munchkin Land. And then it goes, tra la 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 la, tra la la la, tra la 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 la. Tra la la la, tra la tra la la la. <laughs> Listen, you got to get with it. You, you, you're falling behind here. <laughs> you're tripping all over yourself here. Tra la 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 All right, excellent. I have your phone number. I'm going to pass. You didn't do so good. No, he's not a good singer. He's got the voice for it, though. He sounds like one of the most. Oh, yeah. That's the spy to Mr. Spielberg myself. Okay. He's going to pass it on to Mr. Spielberg himself. Because Mr. Spielberg's involved in the direct casting of all the munchkins. Of course. <laughs> if you ever take off your pants. Huh? Why do you need to know this? For the costume. Just tell me when your pants are off. Okay. Reach down between your legs, grab your crotch, and give me the size. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Would you be willing to uh, have us shave you? No. If you want to get into big pictures, sometimes you have to make a few sacrifices. <sighs> no. Squeeze your ass for me. <laughs> just, I just need to know if the tight or loose for the tights. That's all. I know we're done. Please. Tight? Yeah. The tight, tight buttocks? Yes. Okay, if you give them a squeeze, are they, explain the squeezing. Is, what does it feel like in your hands? So I get, is it like, is it like provolone or is it like cottage cheese? Provolone. Yeah. Provolone. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I'm getting worked up here. Okay, hold on. How often do you, how often do you pleasure yourself? Oh. Enjoying I'm not enjoying this at all. Just please tell me. Please. This is it. You're going to get the part. I'm not answering. What? Just give me a number or anything. Just tell me how you do it. Come on, you're a lollipop kid. Let's go. No. Oh. Goodbye. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, right. dear. Those auditions are rough. Uh, so, Howard, this week's been great. Butt Bongo, Knoxville Lie Detector, Eric the Midget calls have been classic. Yeah, we had a funny one yesterday. What was it? Eric called. Is that the one where he was listing the TV shows? That's the one, I think, where... We did the phony phone call to Eric, and we got him to be the Lollipop Guild. Right. Yeah, somebody pitched him on uh, the remake of The Wizard of Oz. 
Yeah, what what it was is Sal called up his uh, Steven Spielberg's assistant. Yeah. And said they're doing a remake of Wizard of Oz. We got him to sing some crap. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what I think that's what everyone's referring to. Hello. Hi, is this Eric? Yes, it is. Hi, Eric. It's Diane calling from Scott Silverman's office at DreamWorks Studio. Okay. Okay, one second, Eric. I'm going to transfer you. <laughs> Eric. Okay. Does he not question this for a second? He really thinks studios are going to be calling. Well, him. Gary called him first and said they're looking for you. Oh, Can I okay. give him your number? So we had, you know, we had the whole thing orchestrated. Right. I mean, Gary was in on it. And it was a whole thing. It wasn't like he was cold called yeah. by Steven Spielberg. Yeah. He never gets excited either. <laughs> it's about to be in a major film. Yes. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. I'm good. I happen to be a big fan of the show, and uh, I hear you a lot. And we're working on some projects, so I'm pretty excited to speak to you. Okay. Right now, we're casting for The Wizard of Oz. I understand that you um, you are a midget. That's what they call you on the show, correct, Eric the Midget? Uh, I'm three foot five, so I would categor be categorized as a little person. Okay, great. Can you sing? Uh, a little. Good. Have you ever seen The Wizard of Oz? Yes. Eric's smart. You know, they always say in show business, whatever they ask you if you can do, say you can do. Yes, uh, yeah, I sing. Great. We want you to be one of the lollipop kids. Okay. So let's give that a shot. We represent the lollipop guild, the lollipop guild, the lollipop guild. Go ahead, give that a try. We represent the lollipop guild, the lollipop guild, the lollipop guild. Excellent. Ex Can you dunk a basketball? Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Depends on how high the rim is. He does sound like those... Uh, the Guild Kids. He does. Got, yeah. He's got the thing. And I think the, the original Guild Kids, they had to use an effect on their voice, but yeah. not with Eric. Excellent. And in the name of the Lollipop Guild, we wish to welcome you to Munchkin Land. <laughs> And in the name of the Lollipop Guild, we wish to welcome you to Lollipop Land. Munchkin Land. Or Munchkin Land. And then it goes, tra-la-la-la-la, tra-la-la-la, tra-la-la-la-la, la-la-la-la. Tra-la-la-la, tra la 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 Listen, you got to get with it. You, you, you're falling behind you. <laughs> you're tripping all over yourself here. Tra la 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 All right, excellent. I have your phone number. I'm going to pass this by to Mr. Spielberg myself, okay? How about during the credits, would you mind? And this is going to be really cute for the movie. How about Eric the Munchkin? Uh, okay, let me just get down some of the um, some of your basic information for the costumes and the outfits. Okay, what is your height? Three foot five. Great. Just do me a favor. Take off your pants. Uh, why do you need to know this? For the costume. Just tell me when your pants are off. Reach down between your legs, grab your crotch, and give me the size. <sighs> <sighs> Would you be willing to uh, have us shave you? No. If you want to get into big pictures, sometimes you have to make a few sacrifices. <sighs> no. Squeeze your ass for me. Just, I just need to know if the tight or loose for the tights. That's all. I know we're done. Please. Tight? Yeah. The tight, tight buttocks? Yeah. Okay, if you give them a squeeze, are they, explain the squeezing. Is, what does it feel like in your hands? So I get a, is, it like, is it like provolone or is it like cottage cheese? Provolone. Yeah. Provolone. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I'm getting worked up here. Okay, hold on. How often do you how often do you pledge yourself? Oh. Oh. You sound like you're enjoying it too much. I'm not enjoying this at all. Just please tell me. Please. <laughs> this is it. You're gonna get the big part. I'm not answering. What? Just give me a number, anything. Just tell me how you do it. 
Come on, you're a lollipop kid. Let's go. No. Oh. Goodbye. Oh. Too late. Oh. It's like he's done. I'm outie. Uh, hey, like that. Too much. Yes, Eric the Midget, real quick. I can't do one of your long extended phone calls. I have to take a break. Hello? Yes, Eric. Calling me Eric from Eric L from California instead of Eric the Midget. Well, people know you as Eric the Midget. This is your name. If you change it, it's like when Fred tried to change his name to Eric. It, it didn't work. We have a lot of Eric's. We have a high pitch Eric, a bong hit Eric. And Eric, Eric the, the Midget. Midget. No, you're Eric the Midget. you got to be Eric the Midget. It's, it's just because people know you that way. Don't get all uptight. Well, also, um, it's like the Riddler yeah. in Batman. You don't start changing his name to the Joker. People would be confused. Get it? The, the, the prank called it Sal did the other day. Yeah, it's brilliant. Well, because of it, I'm bringing a sexual harassment. <laughs> <laughs> well, i got to tell you, now you're getting to be funny. No, I'm, I'm serious. All right. The only, way, the only way that it's going to stop and it's going to include you is don't fire him. I'm not firing Sal. Well, you the station. All Tom, right, bring it on. Gary. Get in line. <laughs> but by the way, uh, Eric, all the money I've given you over the years, all of the um, Trip, uh, the trips, all work. of the, all, and getting you work on a TV show, that's a good F you to me. So, you know, thanks. Oh, great. You just ruined it. Oh, Howard, I was trying to do a prank to scare uh You're not going to scare Sal. He, he, that, that's a ridiculous premise. It's funny, though. It was a funny joke. You should have ended it. Yeah, you should have done it just for that second and let it go. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to tell you how to do your job. <laughs> You're Eric the Midget, I'm not. Ha ha, now I'm the pranker. <laughs> Listen, er uh, Eric, listen, I got to go. Wait, I have one quick. What is it? I have one quick question for Eric. Mm -hmm. Eric, what I want to know is, when I was going at it, how come you told me your ass is tight like a provolone? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm wondering. Why does he go along with it? Right. I thought when, you know, tailors, when they have to do pants, they have to measure you everywhere. So He's on the phone. Like, <laughs> you can't measure your own crotch. <laughs> Eric, I got to go anyway. All right. All right. Don't worry. And I'm. And by the way, I am looking for a job for you. I am talking to people. And please, no more prank calls. From no. Anyone. No, we have to make prank calls. Stop it. Stop that. You just take our prank calls. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry. Is your ass really as tight as a provolone? <laughs> don't know. Imported or domestic? Because he sits in a chair mostly. I know. I'm like, what in the world is he answering this question for? Thank you, Eric. Yes, Ralph. Dude, that, that Eric DaVinci was hilarious. <laughs> that, you, you should play that, oh, that. I mean, I was like cracking up. Yeah, I, I, I love, there's a point in the phone call, he does it a couple times, where something he doesn't really, you know, he gets frustrated and he just goes, that's what was killing me. I was like, those grunts are just priceless. I know. I get some email that people say Eric isn't their favorite. Eric's one of my favorites. I mean, uh, you know, you, you know, I'm not saying Eric's going to hit a home run every time, but I got to say that was great at that too. He's just like, come on, come on, just what, just tell me real quick, give me a number. <laughs> You bring up uh, Eric the Midget flying around in a balloon. Everybody likes the idea of him yeah. doing that. And, uh, uh, the boys uh, made a little song. Fly me with balloons so I can meet Catherine McVie. I'm a miserable midget who is only two foot three. I'm a grumpy dwarf with a five-inch tie. Look at me, everybody! I'm the first flying Ewok! <laughs> <laughs> Catherine's gonna kiss my cheek, so I really couldn't care that I'm gonna look like a baby retard dangling in the air. <laughs> uh, I can't wait to have Catherine sing.
Bring her to. You get the idea. Yeah, that's very <laughs> sweet. Uh, here's an attempt to uh, call a balloon store using Eric the Midget's voice. It's tough to do this stuff, you know. Hello, it's me, Eric. Er er Eric. I will accept the um, balloon strapped to the chair. Um, oh, just a moment. I need to uh, transfer you to the balloon person. Uh, just a moment. All right. <laughs> Does every place have a balloon person? You know what? I'm getting so damn sick of being left on hold. You're not on hold. I'm getting sick of this shit. Where are you? Hello? I will accept the balloon strapped to the chair stunt. Okay. There absolutely has to be safety harnesses on this chair. I I don't have anything to do with safety harnesses and chairs, so I think you have the wrong number. Shut your fat mouth. <laughs> Goodbye. This is getting fucking ridiculous as hell. I have no idea. What is your name? Eric. Your name is Eric. I've had it with you guys. Who do you think you're talking to? Chicken shit. <laughs> who who do you think I am? Dumbass. No. Your boss is a piece of shit. Hello? I'm getting sick of this shit. Well, I think uh, this conversation seems to be a bit abusive. Uh, uh, do you have any other information to give us about what it is that you desire? I will accept the stunt. Stunt. Doesn't that make sense to you? Um, or did you bring that dumb that you can't even get that? Um, just a moment. <laughs> Very odd. You don't know what she's talking about? I have no idea what she's talking about. What is a... She, she seems she. to be asking for a stunt. I think, but I think she has the wrong number, and yeah. she doesn't seem to understand that. Yeah. yeah. Who are you trying to call? You know what? I'm getting so damn sick of being left on hold. Yeah, well... You're actually not on hold. I was on hold for two hours and 59 damn fucking minutes. Huh. Well, it wasn't ours. Uh, that you, weren't on, you weren't on hold with us. So I don't know why you were on hold. Shut your fat mouth. Okay. Bye for now. <laughs> there he is. I uh, love that bye for now. Uh, bye, bye for now. <laughs> Uh, Eric the Midget. Yeah, There's probably some Eric the Midget moments. Oh, sure. He made some great calls. Yeah. In, fact, I'll, uh, in fact, I will include on the big weekend of first, Eric the Midget's first time on the show. What do you think of that? I love the first time he got angry at you. That was yes. the first time he was on. <laughs> hey, Eric. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I think he's mad at me because I said on the wrap-up show the other day, that I don't believe he has a sense of humor. And he left me a voicemail saying that he's laughing. We just can't hear it. Oh, all right. By the way, Eric, everyone is so excited about the fact that, uh, and hopefully we'll have Catherine McPhee in here, uh, that you're going to meet her and that uh, as a result of you meeting her, you will be suspended from balloons uh, several <laughs> oh, wow. inches in the air. Everyone very excited about that. Well, you know what? What? Al and Richard screwed it for you. Well, not for me, for you, it sounds like. No, that bit they p put together and you played earlier, there's... What bit? The one you the just played of uh, played that song, I guess. Less than an hour ago. Oh, the, oh. Uh, uh, the one where you're uh, flying? Fly Me yeah. With Balloons. Fly Me With Balloons, that great song? Yeah, plus the prank call where they used my voice. Oh, to yes. Call. Oh, hey, that was great, Eric. That was great. I told you you that have no sense not favorite. great, you big nose retard. <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you crazy? You have lost all chances of me doing that balloon stunt by playing that shit by those two retards. Let me tell you something, Eric. You will absolutely fly in this studio. Fuck no. Yes, you will. You will. I know you. You. I know you better than you know You're you. You're just upset right now. You're going to calm down. 
And you're going to be thinking about sitting on that couch with Catherine McPhee. Because you were flying up until you heard those, right? That's right. Hey, can I ask Eric something? Yeah. Eric, tell me what the process is, because you call here in the morning and you get all pissed off, right? And then during the day, either you think about it or somebody talks sense to you, and you come to your senses, and then we get the email at night or the voicemail at night that you're okay with it. Then the next morning, you're pissed off again. Like, who, who calms you down? I think the uh, MySpace account people who write and you yeah. go, Eric, come on. Right. You, you, know. you really are that offended by that song, Fly Me With Balloons? No, it's the bit, the bit. No, this one he doesn't like. Fly me with balloons so I can meet Catherine McVee. I'm a miserable midget who is only two foot three. I'm a grumpy dwarf. With a five-inch cock. That one, right? That yep. one. Are, are your ears clogged or something? <laughs> I said that one plus the prank call to the balloon shop. Wh which one do you hate worse? What do you let? What retard? What? Which one do you hate more, the balloon shop uh, one or the song? Both of them, you big nose. <laughs> Which do you hate worse? I hate them both equally. All right, because I'll play them both equally. Then. <laughs> <laughs> Why would that bother you? Because it's... I'm just sick of. Listen to me. Listen to me. Stop being so sick. You you got a, you're on a roll here. You're on a roll. You got Tabitha Stevens, who's dying to have sex with you. I yeah, somehow so you've worked her into a frenzy. Yeah, I mean, she wants you to take your hands and put them in her, and, <laughs> and she wants to take you to a hotel and bang your brains out. I mean, you got that going want, on. I don't want to go where a million other men have gone before. Whatever. Keep putting down the one woman who wants to have sex with you. <laughs> That's intelligent. You're calling me a moron, but... That's a yes. winning strategy. Yeah, you know, when a girl wants to bang me, I compliment her. I don't put her down. I don't see any other broads looking to bang Who's me. Who's lining up for that duty? Yeah. Don't play hard to get. Right now, you're America's number one midget. <laughs> That's hey, pretty. Artie, if they make a, a Austin Powers four, you could play uh, Fat Bastard's Italian cousin, Fat Loser. <laughs> Everyone's trying to get in on the roast. He's I'm noticing. Roasting you. <laughs> yeah, baby. That's not bad. <laughs> All right, Eric. You will come in here. You will fly. You will fly. No, I uh, won't. And if you're lucky, I won't make you wear a cape. <laughs> <laughs> and the Yankees and the Yankees will beat the A's this week. Thank you, Eric. And call me tomorrow with an apology, by the way. I don't like some of the names you called me. Big nose. How yeah, dare how dare you? I'm not calling with an apology. No, you will. Because you know what? You're going to sit down. You're going to think about it. You're blowing your chance to meet Catherine McPhee. Over something silly. I'm going to let you put your hand on her leg. I'm going to let you give her a kiss on the cheek. And you're going to get to interview her and talk to her. And probably become very close friends with her. Because she'll think you're cute. And then she'll let you come to all the concerts. And I know you. You're not going to blow that. You're going to be a man. You're going to get on that balloon. I'm going to take four balloons. I'm going to suspend you and fly you like Superman. <laughs> That's not going to happen. It's going to happen, Eric. Don't tell me what what's going to happen. Are you going to have a, a balloon on each hand? I'll have a balloon on each wrist. Wrist? And a balloon on each ankle. <laughs> and he will fly like Superman. We were we were in the office yesterday just cracking up about <laughs> when you were going to put the balloons under each arm. We had him like walking like a marionette. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Hey, if you want, Howard, if you go to Gary Preview Page 2... In the upper right hand corner. It's now that Eric's mad at us. Uh, Ed? <laughs> All right, Eric. You will come in here. Ed? <laughs> All right, Eric. You will come in here. You will fly. You will fly. No, I uh, won't. And if you're lucky, I won't make you wear a cape. <laughs> <laughs> and the Yankees and the Yankees will beat the A's this week. Thank you, Eric. <clears throat> And call me tomorrow with an apology, by the way. I don't like some of the names you called me. Big nose. How yeah, dare how dare you? I'm not calling with an apology. No, you will. Because you know what? You're going to sit down. You're going to think about it. You're blowing your chance to meet Catherine McPhee. Over something silly. I'm going to let you put your hand on her leg. I'm going to let you give her a kiss on the cheek. And you're going to get to interview her and talk to her. And probably become very close friends with her. 
because she'll think you're cute, and then she'll let you come to all the concerts. And I know you, you're not going to blow that. You're going to be a man, you're going to get on that balloon, I'm going to take four balloons, I'm going to suspend you and fly you like Superman. <laughs> That's not going to happen. It's going to happen, Eric. Don't tell me what's going to happen. Are going to have a balloon on each hand? I'll have a balloon on each wrist. Wrist? And a balloon on each ankle. <laughs> And he will fly like Superman. We were we were in the office yesterday, just cracking up about when you were going to put the balloons under each arm. We had him like walking like a marionette. <laughs> uh, hey, if you want, Howard, if you go to Gary Preview Page Two in the upper right hand corner, if it's now that Eric's mad at us, um, the guys put together. What if he were in the movie Top Gun Two? Oh, Let me hear that. All right. Coming this summer, Top Gun Part Two. Operation Midget Balloon, starring Eric the Midget, Catherine McVie, and John Davidson. What's your problem, Kaczynski? You're everybody's problem. That's because every time you go up in those balloons, you're unsafe. I don't like you because you're dangerous. That's right. Thanks, man. I am dangerous. That son of a bitch cut me off. Hey. Top Gun Part 2. I feel the need. The need for speed. Coming this summer. I agree with you. That bit sucks. Yeah, I was going to say, why are we playing that? Yeah, that we was have, bad. We got we a preview I mean, at least this. we should be funny when we're yeah. doing it. I'm with Eric. I don't like that bit. <laughs> Eric, we will never play that again. You don't even have to ask. <laughs> yeah, Eric, don't worry. That bit won't want to be heard again. I promise. <laughs> I wish none of them would. <laughs> uh, some of them have to be played. How are people going to know you? We have to uh, keep yeah. you alive in some way. All right. This is Catherine McPhee. Oh, it's not good. Hello. Hello. This is Catherine McPhee. Knock it off. Lick my pussy like it's a piece of taffy. Hello. Who's Blue Iris? This is Catherine McPhee. Tell Stern that this is not. You need to think of others. You're hurting my feelings. <laughs> <laughs> really? Just get in the fucking balloon thing. <laughs> hey, Artie, I bet Jeff's mom and your dad are comparing notes on their moves or sons. Oh, 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 that's terrible. You know what? I don't think you could get any lower. That's a terrible thing. All right, Eric, thank you. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye for now. With an apology. Oh. Bye for now. Oh, he'll apologize. Tell him about the big full of my mother. <laughs> Jeff, that wasn't us. That was Eric. Yeah, Jeff. Dan, you're on the air in Long Island. Hey, how are you doing? Hey. I just wanted to, I was calling before, and I completely forgot until about two minutes ago when Eric started talking. Um, that bit you were going to do about the, what, the weather balloon? Yes. I don't know who told Lisa G that would work. It's not going to work. Oh, no, it will work. No, no, no. no. For, it's been for done. Physics, for physics matters. Um, a weather balloon to expand... To carry these quick, and I worked for the weather service for a couple of years. They've lifted guys 180 pounds. Yeah, but the fact is, you've got it. It's a teardrop system. The balloon sits inside a teardrop cam. Dan, 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 what? it's going to work. Eric will fly. <laughs> yeah, I know you want him to. We fly. say your name. <laughs> we say your name. We... Your names. <laughs> <laughs> you will fly. Stop it. I've looked into it. Can I ask a quick question about something else? Yes. Uh, what was Eric's final decision? Eric, right now, if you didn't hear this morning. I did hear it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Eric oh, was agreeing to floating 
<laughs> in the studio, as long as he could sit next to Catherine McPhee. <laughs> and uh, then he called in today because of the new phony phone call with Eric the Midget calling a balloon store. And because of the new bit, the song, Eric the Mid that Did you hear the song? No. Wait, let me play that a no. little bit. A lot of people didn't hear that. <laughs> and because of th this song, where is that song, Gary, quickly? Quickly, name the one of the 10,000 pages it might be located on. <laughs> no. Which preview page? Gary, preview page uh, two in white. I love that he wanted a helmet. <laughs> <laughs> Safety first. Because of this song. Correct. Fly me with balloons so I can meet Catherine McVie. I'm a miserable midget who is only two foot three. I'm a grumpy dwarf with a five inch cock. <laughs> because of that song and the, and the balloon uh, phony phone call, Eric has taken everything off the table. He will not fly. So selfish. Yeah, he will not fly. I told him point blank, you will fly. You will be in a cape. <laughs> you will have four balloons attached to you, two to each wrist, two to each ankle. So you will eight. float at least three to four inches <laughs> off the floor like a superhero. You will pound your chest. And you will do it. And he said, now. And I said, you'll call me up because you will want to meet Catherine McPhee. You will want to sit next to her. She'll probably give you a kiss. You'll probably become friends. You'll probably be able to go to all of her shows. And you're not going to turn that down. See, I don't think Eric is a whack packer. I'll tell you why. Because he doesn't, you know, a whack packer would do that in two seconds. Right. He he could, he could care less about you guys. You, the show's a necessary evil for him. You're misreading the whole thing. I love it. He calls in every day. He says he's not going to call, and then he has to call anyway. He's addicted. <laughs> he's addicted to the show. He sucks off the fame of the show. His and whole life revolves around the show, a la the whack pack. He All these people on my space are telling me. He <laughs> <laughs> can't even stay off that. <laughs> right, and you're saying he's not a whack pack? He's the, probably the leader of the whack pack. <laughs> I don't know, no, I, I don't know. He's like, he seems too normal, like, when you hear him, you know? Yeah. No, I don't know. You don't know the frenzy that you, goes you need on. To float, you need to float him in the outside there where the ceiling is like 50 feet high. We're really floating him through the building. Well, yeah, but we don't want him to fly away. So <laughs> if, if we were floating him in those weather balloons like we think we're going to have to, he could be as high as the Empire State Building. <laughs> <laughs> the balloon would hit Help like 20-some-odd feet in diameter. It's huge. I bet you could get like a motor on the balloon and like steer him around, you know? Yeah, we should get one of those things with a fan in it. Well, how do they do... You know what I was thinking? What? You ever see the Macy's Day Parade with the underdog? <laughs> they got those like, ropes. Yeah. So we could we could kind of guide them through the city. Oh, that's funny. Get me down. down. I want to drag them around. I just hit the Chrysler Building. To get to Howard, <laughs> I will accept the uh, balloons strapped to the chair um, stunt. <laughs> Only thing is, is you can nothing any more degrading or humiliating can be added to it. <laughs> it has to be done as it was offered. You guys cannot up the stakes any, or I'm I'm out. The other thing, there's got to be more of a prize than just meeting Catherine McPhee. <laughs> I will go over that with you later. Number I've two is there absolutely has to be safety harnesses <laughs> on this chair and a, at least a construction helmet on my head. <laughs> and it'd be done the day before she is to come in the studio. That way there's less of a chance there's less of a chance of her actually, you know, hearing it or, you know, no knowing it that it happened <laughs> all right like i said i'll tell you, talk to you more about it later bye for now
<laughs> no chance he well, thought about it. Yeah, he, he doesn't want Catherine McPhee finding out that he did something humiliating. That's great. You, you know what kind of helmet we should get from one of those big spaceman helmets like uh, NASA. NASA Honeymooners? <laughs> you know? Get him a NASA <laughs> helmet. <was> wearing. <laughs> a diving helmet. Yeah, like Diver Dan, that big round yeah, thing. Big round with, like, thing. Glass well, like a it. big astronaut helmet. <laughs> or just have it a, a, like a football helmet with a beanie on it, like a <laughs> propeller. Yeah. Oh, what exactly does he look like? When's the last time anybody saw him? Oh, Eric? Yeah, he's like a... Uh, he looks Pitt. like... Um, Brad Pitt. No. <laughs> looks more like uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. Uh, Heath Ledger. You know, you know what's great about this, though? It's like he's getting upset about it. Meanwhile, he's flying around. It sounds fun. Uh, it'll be fun. I'm not How trying to do it. How is it degrading and humiliating? I, I mean, it's, like... it's not. I told him you got to get a sense of humor. It's going to be great. He has no sense of humor. How great to fly. Yeah. The helmet adds weight, though. Yeah, that's a, lot. that's a lot of weight. But sure, uh, so, does be, a, so does a cape. Got to be weight conscious. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> he wanted to fly in his wheelchair. We're not doing that. Yeah, yeah. first he wanted to be in a chair. And I went, that ain't happening. You, got, you, you want to be free flight. I want to be in a lounge chair. <laughs> <laughs> I said I was going to put him in a pizza box. <laughs> to float him around. What do I look like, a pepperoni? But I believe he will be back. I do believe if the Catherine McPhee uh, uh, interview is secured, I believe he will be right here flying. So he's out at this point. That's what he's claiming. We'll call tomorrow. <laughs> Change his mind. Um, I uh. have a new set of demands. <laughs> <laughs> I wish to be dressed like a flying monkey from the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> Benji just pulled him. Benji just pulled him up on a computer. Oh my God, that picture's oh. hilarious! <laughs> Look at that. Oh. Which one? I some website. I don't know. He's a good guy. Hey, listen, you know he's handicapped and stuff. I, you know, I, I, you know, I know. Listen. You know, he's got a rough life. Uh, he does. He doesn't have an easy life. And, I, and I, I'm not trying to degrade the guy. I'm thinking it'd be really cool to fly around. I really do think it'd be cool. <laughs> and, you know, we'll, and we'll make sure it's safe. <laughs> sort of. How you going to do that? <laughs> well, I'm going to get a guy who does this sort of thing. Yeah, hey, hey, Eric, if you're listening, man, where are you going to go? You're not going to you're not going to fly out onto the street. I mean, no, yeah, we can always shoot you down if you do. <laughs> the ceilings in there are like 20 feet high. I mean, where yeah. are you going to go? What if there's an updraft? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wind shears. <laughs> it would be funny if he just floated through the QVC thing. <laughs> that would have been funny. <laughs> I would have loved for him to fly what? through. What's that? But if I went on QVC, I would want to have, like, I would go on and say some of the cool things we're up to is, like, floating this guy around. Right. And then I'd bring out Eric and fly him off the QVC. He's just standing there talking and he just hey. flies by. Yeah, just like, like he flies by in the background. Hey! Hello, Hello everybody. Hello, Hello, Martha. Hello. See, I'd love to go on QVC and, like, bring those twin sisters and go, you know, we just had these girls doing each other right on, uh, you know, what do you think of that? You see the, that radio thing spinning around, that sales ticker tape, you know, going this berserk? <laughs> Pretty soon they'll be selling the Sibian on QVC. Yeah, it's a great item. I'm thinking of starting a QVC for, your, like, you know, X-rated stuff. XVC. Yeah, XVC, XVC. that's right. Good luck. Hey, that's patented. Yeah. Don't, <laughs> Don't be saying that. <laughs> All right, Ralphie boy, when are you coming home? Bye for now. Did you see Bubba out there? I did. Did you go over his house? No, I didn't make it to his house. You didn't get to stay at his house? No, no. You didn't leech off him? No, not this no. time. All right. I was very busy. This idiot was supposed to come home yesterday. He misses his airplane. How do you miss an airplane? I don't know. I don't know that he's so what busy. Is he doing? I don't know. I'm just I'm just not flying commercial anymore. This is ridiculous. And I told him he has to take private jets. He he's not ask. flying commercial. <laughs> when that happens, that's yeah. it. I've had it. He can did take a balloon. Did you tell the uh, people that you're part of the Friday show? That'll, uh, that'll scare that airline. Did you? I heard that <laughs> yeah. Ralph, Ralph was I, demanding I a car for know. the Friday show. Yeah, Ralph tried that whole thing. <laughs> I heard that too. Hey, you can't hurt. You, you can't blame him for trying. What did I try? Ralph went to Tim and says, "I need a car to take to me to the Friday. Show. Pick me up at the Friday show." Tim told me, "Get lost." <laughs> <laughs> All right, later. Bye for now. <laughs> Any word from Eric? There, you got you got a couple of commercials. Yeah, let's do one. All right, do it. What happened? No, Eric. Just a voicemail. Uh. But he may call back before. You know how he is. He'll call back when it's most inconvenient. Right. 
Yeah, he'll call back and I'll be in the middle yeah, of something. Yeah, we'll be else. signing off. He'll want to yeah. do another half. And then he'll be show. mad, by the way, that he you, we called him. Right. He called us back and you fucking ignored him. Yeah, not understanding. So you know what? If he calls back, just say forget it. No. Really? You want no, to talk to him? Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. If, if he calls back, what? We have him. We oh, have him. Okay. Oh. Put him up now. Yeah, this will be good. <laughs> Let's first ask him about the oxygen tank, and then you can talk about your letter. <laughs> I'm so excited. You know, it's so funny because I was I I read the email to Mary and I said I don't it's my day off why am I so mad <laughs> but it, I fucking I was so mad I wanted to fly out there and kill him. Eric, the pathetic, chicken shit, and lame ass, loud mouth, defensive, stupid, annoying, screwed up, retarded, game jackass. Where is he? I don't see him. I'm nineteen. Nineteen. Okay. Hey, Eric. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Hey, Eric, I'm curious because there's a couple of things going on. We got a letter from the guy from In Plain Sight. Yes. And, like, they're pulling their hair out of their head. Like, you committed to dates and everything, and they got it all together for you. And then you just recently sent them a letter saying you can't get your oxygen tank together after three months. And that you're now changing all the dates. And you're, like, pushing them right to the wall because that, that your availability is the end of their schedule. Is that true? I didn't send them any letter. That's not true. Oh, okay. Did you just send them an email? No. How did they get informed the, of this? The only email I sent yesterday at all to anyone involved with the show with a reply to John Strauss asking me if the date of my doctor appointment had changed. I said, no, it has not. It's still the 19th. So, you so why do they think you can't make the dates? I don't know. I Isn't there something about your oxygen tank not being available? It's there's a little bit of a hiccup on that, but trying to work it out. Oh. Uh, oh wait, boy. I'll read you this email from the guy. Tell me if if I've got this wrong because did you talk to someone there? I've talked to several. people. People, not through email. All right. Well, well, not email, but you've, you've gotten in touch with people. You're giving them scheduling problems. Well, between Johnny and I, we're trying to work that out. See, in other words, he committed to dates, and all I know is they're under the impression that he's not holding to those dates. Right. Well, but the thing is, you said you... Wrote them, and he says, oh, I didn't write them. Like, he doesn't well, cause them any problem. Yeah. He's just uh, stuck on, I didn't write it. Right. Have you told him in some way, smoke signals or something, <laughs> that you have to change the dates? No. The, let, me, they, let me read you this letter we got from them. Here, Eric, listen to me. Help. <laughs> this is from John Strauss. With Eric Can I just reactor? say before you read it, right, John right. Strauss, when he was on the show, before we went on vacation was very specific that he needed ironclad dates by January 1st. Yeah. Right. Okay. Help. He, meaning Eric, he has called twice today, <laughs> pushing back his start date due to complications with getting an oxygen concentrator. He now says he's only available to us on our last two days of shooting. So you didn't say that, Eric? No. Oh. It, by the way, dates changing, that was on their end. Yeah. Last what? week. Gary, you're not buying it? No. Uh, Why? Because they run a business and he's Eric. Right. Gary, you fucking hardly pay a fucking attention. Shut up, eight face and play solitaire. <laughs> now, by the way, speaking of that, let's get on that. You sent Gary the nastiest note, and I think you made a mistake with that. You know, Gary just gets mail for you, and he forwards it to you. You write him a scathing letter back saying, Gary, you're not paying attention. Everyone knows that I'm taping in New Mexico and not Los Angeles. Gary doesn't give a shit. And you know what Gary told me he's going to do from now on? He's going to take all those emails for you and uh, throw them in the garbage. Eric, you, with your logic, when in plain sight called, I should have said, well, Eric lives in Sacramento. He can't be in New Mexico. I'll make decisions for you. I don't know whether you're driving through Los Angeles, or I don't know whether you'd want to double on back and go to Los Angeles to make some extra money. I don't decide your fucking social calendar. Gary's had it with you. I really have. 
He said that's well, the last time he even sends you anything that comes yeah, through. Why would I help you? In, in other words, I have to now think for you? I said well, your, ha your handicap is that you're a prick. <laughs> your handicap is you're a jackass. Shut up Ouch. and listen to me. <laughs> Let me reply. <laughs> I have an agent just like Howard. I'm not the one that handles that shit. Gary, email that shit to Johnny, oh. not to me. That, but but, wait, not, but Eric, you, that's not even that's what you not said. Appropriate. That, I mean, even if that's a fucking retarded logic too. But your logic wasn't like, hey, I don't handle this. Your logic was, you're a jackass who doesn't pay attention. You know I'm not going to be in L.A. that day. And Gary doesn't work for you, Eric. He doesn't have to send it your email to your agent. He sends it you to you. You get it and you send it to your agent. Right. Like you can't hit a button. Well, you can't. Even Johnny was like, "Why the fuck is he emailing that to you?" That do you do you not realize that Johnny tells you what you want to hear? You that Johnny thinks you're as big a joke as anybody. No, he doesn't get that. Why'd you have to tell him? That's like jo telling a little kid there's no Santa Claus. Johnny agrees with you because it's better than arguing with you. Johnny thinks it's funny. When you complain about me to Johnny, he goes, "Yeah, that Gary's an asshole," because it's funny and he doesn't want to deal with fighting with you. A lot of people think you're an asshole. That's true, but in this case to you, I wasn't. I was trying to be nice, trying to help you make some extra money. And by the way, facilitating all these emails from the people from In Plain Sight. Yeah, right Gary from the doesn't really care. He's doing it to be a nice guy. I've done as much work for you to get on this dumbass show as Johnny has. And it's still not going to happen because now the guy's pulling his head. For some reason, they're under the impression that Eric's not I don't think available. He, I don't think Eric's being truthful whether... How many calls did you make to them yesterday, Eric? I only talked to them a couple of times. Okay, so now it went from one to I, two. Right. They, they said two. He said, I only called them once. Now it's a couple of times. Right. Maybe. Oh. They don't care, Eric. You're, you're already a big pain in the ass for them. And, and it's not that big a part. Hmm. Maybe at the most three times. Once <laughs> at the most. Eric, you called a major production three times over a little bit part. Oh. Are you claiming they asked you to change the dates? Last week, hmm. the email said tentatively the 24th and the fucking 25th. Wow, what a pain in the, the ass. Day, is. Shut up and let me finish my goddamn sentence. <laughs> you are so ungrateful. You're just really the most ungrateful little shit there is. They should get Marty the midget. Yeah, he can act, and he's a nice guy, and you know what? He can get there on his own, and he shows up when you tell him. I'm trying to get Eric work, but it's it's not it's working. It's very difficult. It's making me look bad. I can't imagine what those in plain sight people think of me. <laughs> I'm telling you, you're going to lose this role to Marty the Midget, and Marty can breathe. <laughs> I'm not going to lose this role to anyone. Right. Let me finish. It's, true, it's true. Who could be him? <laughs> There's only one of him. But, Eric, you've got to show up on the days you promised to show up. I am trying to fucking explain that. But you are still. I, uh, it's in taking love. too long. You're in love with your own damn voice, and you're not letting me speak. All right, go ahead. Explain to me. Are you working on the days they asked you to work that you agreed to on the air? Simple yes or no. The last person I talked to yesterday with Johnny on a three-way call was the guy said that be there on the what leave on the twenty-third, tape on the twenty-fourth, possibly either leave on the twenty-fourth because they condensed it down to one day of shooting. Okay, and that was them changing not me okay changing. so you're in and <laughs> leave either that day or stay that extra night and leave the next day okay and there's no problem with your oxygen tank i'm i'm working on that there's a hiccup day. you said there was a hiccup so what's a hiccup eric the concentrator <laughs> possibly will be here the morning of the 23rd why not so, get it there earlier because can't. It's a two-week process. Oh, boy. 
If I'm if I'm See, in plain sight, I, I'm I don't so long. But here's the thing: if I'm in plain sight, I'm out of this. The other thing Aren't is with we Eric talking about this before the end of the year. <clears throat> yeah. And the thing with Eric that I never understand is. It, I'm it, telling you, I know he's a, cutting that concentrator. I don't know what a concentrator is, but he's cutting it close. It's a two-week process for him. Right. I don't know that it's a two-week process. Right. But he still had plenty of time to it, already have I, it. It's a two-week order process. So why did you order? Okay, we, we had you on December. Four, we had you on December fourteenth. Why didn't you order it then? Because you could only rent the damn thing for a week at a time. Right, but you knew the week you needed. Not until this week. I don't buy it. So Why don't we? When, when I last spoke... If I'm in plain sight, I'm getting out of this. Liza Minnelli is easier to deal with uh, than Eric. And she has more lines. Gary's actually right about this. Because when John Strauss was on, he gave the week. He said it would be two days within this week. Right. The week of the 17th And so he could have ordered. So he of course he could have ordered. Yeah. Thank you. He said the 18th to the 27th. That's more than a week. I don't know, man. If I'm the producer... So you order it for two oh, weeks. Right. If I'm the producer oh. of In Plain Sight, Eric, I'm out of this. No offense. It's Go too... fucking back and listen to that conversation. All right. Well, do you, listen... Do you, do you not think that... Can I ask you a question? Do you think you're easy or difficult to work with? I don't think I'm difficult to work with. You ought to go back and listen to these mm. tapes. They got three calls from you yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> and, and by the way, there's you know there's got to be thirty people in the cast. Yeah, there are plenty of guest stars right. every week. That Mary they have McCormick's to deal with. the star of the show. She doesn't even carry on like this. She should be like, I can't get my concentrator. But believe me, the moving parts, you know, the people who come in and out. Eric's the most difficult. Meanwhile, we've totally forgotten about the fact that he's afraid of werewolves, and there are werewolves in New Mexico. <laughs> and it, wh is that I all worked out? I wonder if it's a full moon during the time that Eric's there. Did they ever satisfy you that they have to leave, keep all bears and werewolves away from you? Has anyone told you you believe bullshit? All right. Well, you're the one who said it. I, I'm no. going gonna to leave, Eric, but I'm going to leave with this. In a business where people are used to dealing with the most difficult of the difficult, you have been deemed fucking difficult. Mary McCormick had twins, and she was on the set the next day. She gave birth during a scene. <laughs> <laughs> and didn't complain. Right. All right, Eric. I don't know what's going on, but trust me, you got to pull this together. How many damn times do I have to say that that werewolf shit was bullshit that Johnny put in All that right. he thought was funny but wasn't. Yeah, but you told me you you didn't know if there were werewolves or not because you read it on IMDb. No, you read I, it on I didn't say Wikipedia. I read Wikipedia. It. Wikipedia. <laughs> Idiot. Okay. I didn't say I read it. I said Johnny read it. Yeah, and you But you and believed you were, it. You were asking for help. I'm just saying. All right. Thanks, Eric. Listen, I just wanted to know what was going on. Now I've got a pretty clear picture, and I, ho I wish you luck. I hope you're on the show. I'm looking forward to watching it. Right. Good luck. Thank you. All right. Take care, Eric. <laughs> Later. Bye. Bye. It's uh, Eric. Eric the... Uh... <laughs> I'm a major with demands, and my IQ is very low. <clears throat> because I believe that werewolves live in New Mexico. <clears throat> I'm afraid to film in Albuquerque because werewolves get me scared. And if I see one on the set, I'm going to shit in my wheelchair. <laughs> Werewolf in New Mexico. Werewolf in New Mexico. All right, Robin. Uh, Eric the Midget is back on the phone, but do you really want to go through this no. again? I what is, it's a, what is the problem now? Let me just tell him. Hey, Eric, it's okay. We're done. I mean, you know, we'll do it. We'll talk another day. I, I got to wrap up the show. You call me. You wake yeah. me up out right. of oh, sleep to defend myself. You barely give me fucking chance to defend myself. I gave you more time I, than anybody. You kept talking over me. Not only that. Well, you're now boring I'm, sometimes. Now I'm fully awake. Yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you want from me? Evil looking a sleeping midget. <laughs> Call me back tomorrow. 
I realized the funk conversation that I had with the last person, he was so animate at getting the oxygen thing to to work. He, he took my doctor's phone number and the oxygen company's phone number. They didn't tell you that. Right. Well, okay. Uh, all right. All right. No problem. I get it. That. All right. I was wrong. Sorry, Eric. <laughs> okay. Got it. Go back to sleep. That's all right. You cleared it all up. Hope it all works out. Is he calling in on a walkie-talkie? Doesn't it always sound like he's on a... He's breaking up. And... <laughs> Break it one Don't Break worry, Eric. I'm, I'm with you. He keeps letting go of the button. <laughs> Hold I'm the button. To, I'm talking to you on the same damn cell phone I was talking to you on a few minutes All right. ago. Okay, Eric. All right, I get it now. Thank you for clearing that up. Okay. Now we all have it. Sorry, we misunderstood. Sorry. Talk to you later, okay? All right. All right. Later. <laughs> Bye. All right, has everyone got that? Eric's clearing it up. I don't know uh, what he is. <laughs> oh, stop. <laughs> no, you understand what Eric meant, right? Of course All I right. do. All right, okay. He's Me making too. a joke. Yeah, I know, Eric. What is that? Interrupt. You. I. You. 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 Well, everyone understand it now. Yes. Okay, yes. because there was there was a, there, Eric is right. There was a bit of confusion, and now it's been they, we, He didn't tell us that. Right. Before, yeah. All right. Now he was away. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> Eric the midget. Eric the midget, you're on the show. Go ahead. Yes. Go ahead, Eric the midget. Good morning. I was. Good morning. Trying to, trying to get on the show for the last three days before this. I wondered where you were. He was on the computer. We just couldn't get to him. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, one of the things I wanted to talk to you about was, did you catch the Frank TV episode last week? The what? The better what? question is, has Howard ever seen a Frank TV episode ever? What is a Frank TV? Frank Caliendo, who's on Mad TV for a while. And he oh, yeah. did the show. He was in I here. Know, I know who he is. He yeah, does Frank. amazing impression. Frank. Yeah, nice guy. Yeah, we had him on the show once. I didn't catch it, though. Why? Because he did an impression of you last week, and he brought me up in the middle of the impression. Oh, wow. Well, we'll have to track that down. Good, Eric. See? You're getting famous. Hey, J.D., how come we don't have tape of that? How come I need Eric to point that out to us? It's a major oversight. And we didn't take his call. See, now we're uh, behind the Maybe, maybe it's uh, he's too busy hunt, hunting down that money. Right. <laughs> JD, that sounds like something I'd be interested in. I don't normally record Frank TV, so you're kidding. I, I have to find it. You can find it on YouTube, I think. Yeah, so d d take Eric's advice. Well, Get it off YouTube. We should hear that. Uh, 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 okay, I'll try and find it. I don't know if they YouTube Frank TV all the time. So what'd you say? I was that Frank was an YouTube amazing. Frank TV all the time. I don't know you, Frank TV. Frank YouTube TV. <laughs> uh, Even Frank OK, okay took about ten mm. syllables. Hey. JD, you actually merged the words YouTube, <laughs> Frank TV, and OK into one word. <laughs> That's awesome. It's That's like, the first thing that you want. Like, oh, you're YouTube, or Frank, Frank TV. YouTube TV. <laughs> yeah, do it, Fred. Uh, uh, Frank YouTube TV. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first time you ever did that. He went, uh, 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 okay. It would be cool if, like, like, if JD really caught on and, like, our future language became the, the JD language. Like, like, instead of saying, okay, you'd have to go, uh, 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 okay. Uh, 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 okay. Kalu, Klaatu, Baruka. 
That's how slang starts, I guess, yes. right? You get, you're like the Cockney yeah. dialect. Clatu Baruta. <laughs> I, I, I come in from a day or so still or something. I don't know. <laughs> Eric Demidji coming up with uh, something we should hear. Yeah. Okay, I know. Okay. I, I know. Right. Frank, you, Frank, you see me you too. If Eric was working here, I would have had that. Well, 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 you know. Okay. Yep. Eric well. showed you up, too. Whoever pulls Eric's clips got it. Right. <laughs> How did you learn of this clip, Eric? I was told about it before it aired last Tuesday. Oh. Before it aired. I think yeah, I had the two of you guys just talk on your before own. Before it aired on TV. <laughs> Why would I have anything to talk about with him? <laughs> no, it's just like between the two of you. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I don't. I, I don't talk about them. <laughs> don't you want to know who gives him updates before they happen? Oh, I don't have the insiders, apparently, that he does, so sorry. Maybe you could share resources if you talk to him. Maybe you should have a conversation with Eric the Midget every day. Well, I told him to stop emailing me after he sent me a four-page email about this fucking Diane DeGarmo bullshit. Wow. That was not, and that was not sick, by the way. Oh, what, okay. He right. emailed you? Yeah. He, like, I mean, you're his contact person? No, he emailed like me, Gary, Will, and whatever. And I, <laughs> you're on the you're in the I list. Know, oh, I'm on the list. I'm CC. <laughs> I'm CC. <laughs> I'm CC. 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 I'm <laughs> Batu, Barada, Nick, too. Who else is on that CC? I don't know. <laughs> Eric, who do you CC on the show? Like who besides JD? Oh, Will, Jason, and Gary. So it's Will, Jason, Gary, and JD mostly on your CC. Uh, JD, go check your email. You have the link to it. Oh, thank you. So you sent him this information, Eric? Just yeah, now. I just did now. Oh, no. just now. He sent him something about Diane DeGarmo. He sent him bullshit before. I just wondered if he was still CCing him. I, I haven't gotten an email. What sorry. did he send you about Diana DeGarmo? Oh, it was just the, that whole stupid list of demands about how he wants a, a blowjob from Natalie Maine or whatever. I don't remember. <laughs> it was just all that stupid bullshit. Who doesn't? Join the fucking club. <laughs> right. Or, no, he was demanding one. Oh, so. Well, join the club. It's yeah. Natalie Maines, isn't it? Run. Yeah, Eric was demanding a blowjob from Natalie Maines. Because Natalie still, look. <laughs> still looking for that apology. Yeah, keep looking. <laughs> so in lieu of an, an apology, Eric decided it wasn't enough. He needed a blowjob from and, Natalie. And what Mays. else did he want to do to her? He What's a fucker to... in the ass and you know Yeah, yeah. What did a fuck her so hard that what what was going to happen to her when you fucked her so hard? She was going to squeal like the pig that she looked like. Yeah. Oh, oh how charming! You wish you could get a chick like her. <laughs> really? <laughs> you wish you could. Hey, could he really do anything that hard? No. No. <laughs> Break. <laughs> he should fuck I a real person. He's, he's very brittle. I mean, <laughs> yeah. can you shake his hand? <laughs> you, you'd actually probably get hurt in the scenario. <laughs> <laughs> I'll fuck you so hard, I'll break. Yeah. I'm going to fuck you so hard, I'm going to die. <laughs> I'll fuck you so hard, I'll implode. Uh, uh, <laughs> funny if he's fucking or he just explodes. <laughs> but, well, oh, God, I'd love to see that cartoon. Right, here, there goes my nuts. Right, you two uh, uh, I page. Ah, uh, Frank, you two I page. Uh, <laughs> Can you hear Kevin <laughs> Lawson <laughs> drawing? CC. My page, you two. You two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you you too, my friend. You too. Diana DeGarmo bullshit. Frank, Frank DeGarmo TV. fucking ass pig. Frank, 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 Frank to you. Okay. Frank TV. Cal, Frank to you, you too. Caliendo. Oh. You too. Blank to what? I don't know. I think it's cool you guys write each other. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't write him. It's touching. You never wrote him back? No. Well, uh, yeah, I told him to don't send me this you wrote, you wrote him the back stick. telling you yeah. wrote him back telling him don't write me? Yeah. <laughs> but did you use the word stick in yes. your email? He wrote him back going, that. I'm never gonna write yeah, you. He didn't spell it correctly either. <laughs> what did he write? Uh, Eric? Okay. What did he spell? I can't remember I deleted it. Exactly, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I wow. remember it was misspelled. Okay. How do you spell stick? S C H T I C K. That's right. He spelled it right. Spelling the champion, word. dude. You were the spelling bee champion. I was. 
Sixth okay. grade. Sixth grade. Don't like mess with him about spelling, Eric. Yeah, that was probably your best year of your life, sixth grade. I, I take very much pride in my spelling bee trophy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You won the spelling bee trophy. You were probably very popular. And then, like, seventh grade, I don't know, puberty oh, yeah. came, and then everything yeah. just fell apart. Yes. Where is yeah. your spelling bee trophy? It's in my house. Let's Why don't it, you bring it to work? Come show it to us. Because <laughs> I don't know where to put it. It's Let's just put shit. it in here. Just put it going? next to Beetlejuice's head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 12 years old, when I, that might have been my best year, too, because I was a great Little League player, and then it was, you know. All yeah, downhill from I had a girlfriend. It was awesome. You're kidding. Really? Yeah. Isn't it crazy? <laughs> like, sixth grade, you were happening. That's not fair. Wouldn't you trade that all in to be happening now? I guess. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> you know you would. Yeah, because at 12, when you're happening, you're not getting late. Puberty's a bitch. No. Yeah, if you look at me in the sixth grade, you think, mm -hmm. I could see how that kid could be really good with I was cute up until, like, fifth, sixth grade, and then puberty hit, and then I, my face got devastated. <laughs> like, just caved in. Puberty landed on your face? My nose, through my Adam's apple. Everything just <laughs> fucked up. It's like a lunar landing. All of a sudden, I had to go out and buy a pair of sunglasses to hide my face. If I ever have a son, I'm going to tell him, in, like, about the fifth or sixth grade, watch out what girls you make fun of. Because you never know who's going to get tits one summer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they held all the cards, man. <laughs> you know you are going to be a great dad. This is the kind of stuff he has to pass on. You know, you never know who's going to get tits. How far did you get with your sixth grade girlfriend? Did you kiss her? Already. Uh, did you kiss her, Jim? Shut up, Eric. <laughs> Eric. Hold on, we're on the line of questioning. I don't, think, I don't, I don't think I kissed her, no. Yeah. You didn't even kiss her? No, because it was like, like a short... Uh, no, it was nothing. It was, you know, it was like a couple of weeks. Yeah. How did you call that a girlfriend? It I, was don't, a, I don't know. It was sixth grade. Did she know? Elementary school, you did know? Did she know you were her boyfriend? Yeah, well, I mean, we're, yeah, I guess. Yeah, he yeah. gave her his peach pit ring. <laughs> the one he carved out of that peach pit. So it was just yeah. a chick you walked home I, You know what? It, it's elementary school, dude. It's you know, whatever it was. Uh, it's not that. It wasn't, you carry her books or something? No, uh, no, it wasn't even. <laughs> uh, no, uh, you know, no. we talked on the phone and maybe uh, hang I out stuck, a little I bit. I stuck my roller in her ass. And, uh, <laughs> talked on the phone. <laughs> what is it, Art? I was just saying that with the way Artie's built this down, he needs to adopt a fifth or sixth grader to be able to tell him anything because if he has a son, he's not going to make it that long. What did he say? I don't, I don't know. know. This is what I heard. The, right? the, the key in jokes is short. I can do that. You're a regular exactly Mort Scholl. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I heard. <laughs> That's what I heard, too. Yeah, right. I think my hearing is going. I think that was accurate. Right. Now, what did you say? <laughs> 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 no way, help going, uh, son. <laughs> Was he uh, actually breaking up, or is that the way he talks? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he had syllables. There's nothing wrong with the phone. <laughs> I, I do hear something wrong with. The connection today. I don't There's know. something wrong with the guy on the phone. <laughs> yeah. I think it's the operator a, error. Sometimes Eric gets like so out of breath, like he, yeah. he can't like finish words. He gobbles up the words. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Well, you, you yeah, but eating. yours is usually at the end of the sentence, yeah. not at the beginning. You have an eating disorder. <laughs> <laughs> you, you eat everything. I have a bleeding ulcer. <laughs> um, all right, <laughs> I got to start using less fattening words. <laughs> <laughs> Before you let me go. See you later. My store is having a... Take care, Eric. Thanks, man. The the whole You're store. sure? I let my Eric get his plug. <laughs> my here. store is having a super <laughs> once sale for the holidays until next Thursday. You're sore? Store. <laughs> yeah, what, what, that picture of me and you, what's the holiday price on that douchebag? <laughs> it's the same price, but you just... Get two pictures for the price of one. Um, what? <laughs> so it's not the same price. No, it's, one a, is... it's a two for one sale. You, you get two of those oh, pictures. It's a sale. So, so you're essentially <laughs> getting one free. What is the price of, the, of that? What picture? is the exact price of that picture? Well, there's it depends. There's the fifteen dollar <laughs> one, the twenty two dollar one, and the forty seven. All right, let's oh, say I go oh, for forty seven. What do I get? You get the phone call and oh. the autograph personal or personal 
the autographed photo. If I just want the picture of me and you at San Francisco at that time, well, how much is it? Uh, twenty-two ninety. Oh my personal God. autograph. I hope with the people, personal autograph. I hope people don't think I'm getting a cut of that. That is that is mm. the douchiest. How big is the picture? Is it eight by ten? They're all eight by ten. I don't fucking do anything smaller than eight by ten. You used to. We corrected that. Yeah. You Calm charge, down. You were charging plenty of dough for just a little tiny picture. Really? Calm down, Mickey Mantle. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I just really want to get straight. I'm not the douchebag ripping you off here. Uh, it's Eric. How many have you sold, if I may ask? Quite a few. I haven't given track. What? He hasn't, he hasn't keeping track. <laughs> it's, it's all on my computer. So would you say... All, all the orders are still on my computer. Uh, well, I have to go through them. What? Right. All of the orders are on his computer. Twenty two twenty two ninety five. You get the autographed photo of him and Artie, 8x10. If uh, you want the personal phone call from Eric with the uh, autographed photo, that's 40 something dollars. <laughs> 47. That is I don't know how he comes up with these numbers. In this day and age, and it's not my autograph, it's Eric. Right. Eric, how'd you figure 47? <laughs> I don't know. It's just that we, that's all I. Came up with it. Sort of I don't know thought, how I came up with it. I just did. You placed the value on it. You just thought that's forty-seven. That's well, the value. And there was a fifteen-dollar <laughs> item. What? What is that? That's the picture of you and Artie. But how do you get that for fifteen? That is just my simply my autograph on it without any personal thing to it. I see. Oh. Wait. So to add, hey, Dan. <laughs> It's another seven eighty. Yeah. If he personalizes it, it's another seven eighty. That is correct. <laughs> what a little fucking evil empire douchebag! <laughs> yeah, nothing little about you, fat boy. Yeah, well, guess what? <laughs> guess who you're fucking making That's money off of, you little prick? I I'm gonna send my tiny little midget lawyer to get you. <laughs> you have a midget lawyer? <laughs> yeah, for midgets who are dicks, I want to sue. All right, Eric. Thank Eric, you. Eric, go through your computer. I want to know what, uh, how much you're selling. Yeah, if you can get a number to us, we'd be interested in the Eric business. Before you do that, Eric, go over to your window, open it, and jump out. <laughs> and then I want you to CC it to not, J.D. Not much. <laughs> not much oh, look at that. My window. <laughs> what? what do you say? I don't know. Not much. <laughs> he said, rack out that window. <laughs> There's not much of a fall out my window. Nobody cares. <laughs> All right, Eric, thank you, and good luck with your business. That's uh, wh Where's your website again? JFSD.TV. Slash ETA. ETA, all right. All right. I'd love to get into his business. That's not a. Now. That's not too complicated a website to get to. <laughs> well, you know, when you're getting ripped off, you ought to have to type in a lot of numbers. What's letters. ETA? Eric e the actor. Oh, Eric the actor. If I found out my kid spent forty-seven dollars on something on his website, I'd throw the kid out of the house. <laughs> what if the kid earns his own money? You don't really have a right to throw him out of the house. As well as a lesson. I life. see. Right. Life lesson. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> So after you tell him to be nice to girls with small tits because they can grow big, <laughs> but you, never you throw them out of the house for getting Be nice picture. to all the girls. <laughs> right. Yeah, I'll say all the things. Your next like... book should be a parenting book. <laughs> That's true. You're Advice. on the right track. From Uncle Artie. Yeah, you should have had kids. I, I, I'm, uh, I'm going to have a kid. No, you're too old. Oh, no, I want one. I already said <laughs> i got a couple of broads lined up and we'll have a kid for him. What I would have told the son I never had. Nice. All right, Eric, thank you. <laughs> J.D., what? what? Eric the asshole. Oh. Eric the asshole. Okay. That's what ETA stands That's for? That's not my name. <laughs> Eric's not your Eric the asshole. Not my name. <laughs> oh, ETA's Eric the asshole. Right. Eric the asshole. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> you can have it that way. Don't you get tired of using old shit? Don't you get tired of using... Eric the annoying midget. <laughs> you tired of calling us every day? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No. <laughs> uh, we see that. And so we don't get tired of using the old shit. <laughs> We're all in the same boat. <laughs> What's the ETA stand for again? Eric the Annoying Midget. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Eric sure? the Asshole. Oh, well, all right. We'll make up your mind. All right, Eric. Thank you. All right. Bye. Eric the Worthless Shack of Shit. <laughs> Take care, Stubby. All right, thanks, Eric. <laughs> bye bye. And you get on the uh, yeah, that computer. In. I, I'll check that link right now. Right. Oh, wow. Talk to Eric.
Beer in my butt. I want Steve Lanker talk. I want Honey Cow Finger. I want Danny Duncan sex in my butt. I, uh, I think people uh, think I don't like coming here. My <laughs> asshole, and I'll squeal like I'll take take all oh, shit in my mouth. I wanna feel something big in my butt. <laughs> Master Flash over there. <laughs> Eric, had you heard that one? <laughs> no. Yeah, that's pretty that's good. good, isn't it? Mm. Nope. Not funny. <laughs> We're selling that for $47. You should throw that in on the package. Really? Oh, yeah. You get that Get tape. a copy of In My Butt. <laughs> you get yeah. In My Butt, the, the pictures, and also, the of course, the, the fabulous phone call yes. for $100. <laughs> $47. What a package. Would you ever package that song in? No, I would not. I would give you permission. Mm. Oh, well. That's a great item. Oh, well. Come on. <laughs> You're quite the businessman. <laughs> I got My it. butt will be a number one hit. Would you make a video to that song for us? Dancing to it? <laughs> no, I would not. You would not. All right. I'll have to get the real doll. I'd like to see him act it all out. <laughs> Here in my butt, I want Steve Lanker talk. I want Honey Cow Finger. I want Danny Duncan sex in my butt. <laughs> uh, uh, fuck my butthole, and I'll squeal like I'll take, take all oh shit in my mouth. I wanna feel something big in my butt. Oh yeah. What the name of that song is, Eric? What's that? In My Butt. <laughs> That's what it's called. I love In My Butt. Yeah. We know you love it. In oh, butt. shut up. <laughs> we know all that. I love there. Eric's version. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> Eric the Butt Fucker Games Modeling Agency. Robin just gave Fred another drop for the next 15 years. <laughs> all right, Eric. Thank you, and I do wish you luck with the holiday season in your business, okay? All right. All right. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye for bye. now. Bye. Speak to you soon. I was unable to get to Eric for two days. He's good when you let him stay on hold for a while. Because he builds up an agenda. Yeah. Very Eric, good. the pathetic, chicken shit, lame ass, loud mouth, defensive, stupid, annoying, screwed up, retarded, game jackass. All right. That's thank a you. lot of things to make an ETA out of. Eric, the shit cock. <laughs> that would be ETS. That would be ETS. That would be ETS.